Namaste, welcome to the IIA 21. I'm Kai Langer, I'm the head of BMW i Design. And uh, today I can uh, show you our BMW i Vision Circular, sure. uh, which is our idea of uh, how we be responsible in the near future and how we treat our responsibilities uh, uh, in a very, very futuristic way. So what, we, what you can see here is a car that is 100% recycled. We're talking about materials like secondary aluminum, we're talking about uh, um, secondary steel, we're talking about materials that go all in a circular uh, um, recycle phase. And let's start uh, with the design because all these ideas have uh, a very huge impact on how we design the car. Because using these material also means that you have to rethink and reduce what you do uh, uh, with the car. And starting with the front, you can see we reduced the amount of information that you're normally used uh, in the front end uh, from a car and brought it together in like very few components. That actually we do because of the fact that you can disassemble the car very easily and uh, really separate it into all the different materials that can be recycled afterwards very easily. So what you can see here is this huge kidney where we combine our light and for the reason that this is electrification, the electrified car, you don't need the air intakes anymore. So we brought it uh, all in uh, one huge icon and uh, um, um, uh, combined all the functions. Uh, normally in the lower area you would see like at least a minimum of three air intakes since this is a battery emitted car um, we only need the air intakes for cooling the brakes so you could uh, design it in a very very efficient and uh, clean way. So now we're looking at the side of the new BMW i Vision Circular. So Kai, what can you tell us about the design of the car, the, the idea behind it? So looking at the side, you obviously uh, will see that uh, we also have the idea of uh, reduce. Uh, but nevertheless, we bring back what people are used to. Uh, the first thing that might uh, um, uh, see people uh, is that we don't have any chrome on the side anymore. Uh, but we highlight it in a, in a way that you don't miss it. Actually, sure. we have uh, this what we call like art bar here on the body side and also highlighting the, uh, our Hofmeister Knick. And this is a piece where we have like all the sensors, all electronics integrated. So it provides sensors for door opening. It okay. provides like the camera for the rear view. Uh, and of course, a graphic that while opening the door or approaching the car will guide you towards the towards the sensor and also okay. have some sort of like welcome warm welcome effect sure so personalized so, basically exactly by okay. reducing the chrome you get all of this yeah uh, very cool and, uh, exactly and the glass on top anything special about the glass on top we have and might uh, we might see a little better from the interior uh, you will see and find the graphic that you know from the from the side also in the roof and especially in the in the rear sector of the of the roof because what you can see there is then a, a special way of shading the glass okay and just with like two graphics that very cleverly uh, intersect each other and yeah. then go from like a 50 percent uh, shading to like zero and completely block the block the sun very cool but this is something. And, and then the fin, it's also, the fin is quite interesting also, the shark fin on top. So if you look from this side, it kind of looks like a, like a bigger piece, but it's really super thin, right? It is super thin, but as I just said, you have to integrate uh, everything that you, uh, that's kind of like hard to, to uh, recycle. Okay. The best into one piece that you can easily detach. Gotcha. So, so it's still a one piece, basically, the, the whole thing. still a one piece that you take off the car while recycling it. You take it off and uh, it's very easy to, to uh, recycle. Same as in the front, we reduce in the back. We're using what's already there. Okay. So you can see, as soon as the car switched on, you find uh, all the taillights, all the function from taillight behind the rear glass that's already there because you have to uh, look through. Yeah. And, uh, what is also interesting, like in the front, we have the BMW logo coming out of the material, okay. not being a separate gotcha. piece. 
it's coming out of the material what's already there. And the bottom one, it's all engraved, right? So that's the, another way to... Exactly. Okay. The bottom one is coming out of the material as well. It's just like a uh, laser engraved into, into the secondary aluminum. Very cool. All right, you want to take a look inside? Let's, let's, let's have see. a look inside. That's the... What is, the lights came on. Looks, the lights come on. You see how the, the graphic is like welcoming you. And what is the most interesting uh, thing what we see here? Uh, we talked about a car that's like having a, a pretty small size. So sure. we're talking about the footprint of an i3. Uh, but when it comes to the interior size, you actually see what you can find in the 7 Series. So it's so, quite impressive. We're talking about compact but a lot of space. Exactly. So this is how we honestly believe is sustainability. Also, uh, how you treat the products and how you uh, set them up. Since the fact that we have a purpose-built electric uh, car here yeah. and uh, idea with like this uh, very dynamic monovolume shape, mm -hmm. we can offer this in 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 that car that you have like on this very small footprint, yep. uh, a luxury size like this comes all together like luxur luxury without surrender. With us, very cool, very cool. Yeah. Let's take a look at some of the other design elements. So explain to me a little bit of like the dashboard idea, that crystal looking piece. And of course, you know, the is that wood? That's wood. Okay. So let's start with, uh, with the dashboard. Sure. That's, a, that's a very good idea. You can find like both of our jointful fusion uh, cufflinks over here. Okay. So like these big screws. Gotcha. If you uh, lock, unlock them, you can actually take the whole take dashboard the whole piece out. out and mm -hmm. like as disassemble it from its uh, pure materials. Very cool. The materials we're talking here is uh, um, aluminum because okay. this is part of the structure. Okay. Just made nice. So sure. we don't have to cover the structure as long as it's nice. Yeah. Then we're talking about real wood here okay and we're talking about like a 3d printed uh, polymer monomer material in the middle in our so-called crystal that's a single piece also right yeah sorry that's a single piece also, that's right? that's yeah. a single piece yeah. out of uh, a mono material and also the way it's been built is like just one print so these right. are the new technologies we're using here talking about the steering wheel it's also a 3d print but made out of uh, a wood powder so-called so what you have here could be recycled in a steering wheel mm -hmm. because it's the same material. We're using a lot of 3D printing because the advantage yeah. of that process is that you actually print what you need. Yeah. So there's no so waste, so there's no, no, waste, no yeah. extra, extra. Precision, basically, that's yeah. the 3D printing. That's, yeah, That's precision, yep. exactly. Very, very cool. And the seats? So the materials, I already learned that it's got a, it's, it's polystyr and it's modified in a sustainable way we so that you learned okay so yeah. basically that's a mono material that okay. you can throw all the materials from the from the seat like the seat material the fabric here and the fabric in the back mm -hmm. you can bring it into one bin and recycle it because it's the same chemical material but it's okay. treated in a different way so this is where we're coming back and talking about craftsmanship again yeah. the rear fabric is made like in a way we know it from Louis XIV, you know, that's okay. uh, some sort of like Jacquard uh -huh. craftsmanship and very, very, very. Uh, it's quite interesting. High quality yeah. and premium looking, almost yeah. luxury looking. Meanwhile, in the front, we have uh, like a very sensitive, almost velvet kind of feel. Gotcha. It's Done with softer. the same material. A little bit softer, yeah. yeah. So you can achieve the same the same kind of look but different feel with the same material. Exactly. And that's cool. something we we uh, really want our customers of the future to have is yeah. like not losing sense instead of gaining yeah. like more information and also you like to touch it and something we we're, we're not using even through the digital age. Yeah. Very cool. And if you move to the side, the doors again single piece with integrated controls. The door, as you just mentioned, the yeah. single piece, uh, you can see here, that's the same piece that you saw previously from the outside. Okay. So this is again, reduce, meaning bringing all the functions into one piece that if you have to dismantle the car, mm -hmm. you simply take out this one piece and you've got like both exterior and interior side the same. For the interior, we bring all the functions that you would need in the door panel and normally find in the door panel in the in a today's car yeah. into that uh, um, single piece uh, material. single piece and there is also i saw some lights so you have lights that will uh, display inside and outside the car at the, the same time 
Yeah, this is the, what, what I was just talking about, yeah. this, this part, okay. because that has the function to welcome you from the outside and also continue while you're in the car. Gotcha. And complementing it, as you could just see, with like the crystal in the dashboard, and then uh, it, it goes all the way in a very emotional way mm -hmm. towards the back. Gotcha. All right, Kai, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And um, stay tuned for more with the BMW iVision Circular. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure.